Hey everyone, today we're going to look at the best builds for each and every ADC after the crit item rework that just happened in 9.3. There might be some other builds that you can run, but these are going to be the main ones and the ones that are winning the most at the moment. We're going to go in order of how popular the champions are at the moment. So on this patch, first up is going to be Kaylin. She was probably the most hyped AD coming into the rework and is definitely a powerhouse again. For our runes, we're going to be looking at Fleet for Work, but since we're not really building lifesteal in the build anymore, just crit, we get our healing from here instead with our overheal and our bloodline. Infinity Edge Rush is straight up the best at the moment. On Kaylin again, you get a hefty chunk of AD, which means your Q, your traps, your headshots, and your ultimate will hurt a lot more and earlier into the game as well. After that, it is again just triple crit like we used to have really like before all of this happened. The long range poke from your rapid fire is really good, really good for towers as well, and the wave clear plus the burst from our shiv is amazing. We can throw in the Phantom Dancer in there as well if we need to, just instead of like the shiv, for example. It's the same for almost every single crit champion, actually. It is a really good item, it's just less damage, so that kind of depends on the game. The other thing is Storm Razor. So you'll see that I've stuck it here last item, and it's actually really like really really good as a fifth or a sixth item now when you have fleet for work rapid fire cannon and shiv but especially the two zeal items your storm razor increases the range and the damage plus the healing and it's a monster item in terms of damage but obviously it's like much more glass cannon you don't really have as much defense if you build it so Lucian is still a monster because even though we have our Infinity Edge back, Lucian can destroy the champions early, the crit champions early, and he still benefits from crit later anyway. The runes are pretty standard still, uh, but you can run overheal and bloodline if you want to. It's a bit more defensive. Uh, you don't have to at all, but it's there if you need to. The first build is exactly the same, but just to point out as well, Cleaver with Phantom Dancer, and if you got Tabbies as well, means you basically never ever die to an assassin again. It's a really good defensive path. The third is a bit different. It's crit Lucian again, like we had before. 75% crit actually, which is really good with the mana regen and the cooldown reduction to still dash around like a madman. It is more damage, you're just very easy to kill. Vayne is the third most popular at the moment and is a powerhouse because of the new Phantom Dancer really and how much built-in damage that she actually has from the rest of her kit. Fleet for Work is the page that I recommend right now. You can take Overheal and Bloodline as well with that if you want to for even more healing. But there is also the Hail Blades option. Fleet I think is better throughout the entire game but Hail Blades is definitely better earlier so if you want to be more aggressive that's the way to go. Vayne is really lucky actually as a champion right now in the game because at two items she can destroy everybody because of the Rage Bait right. So the new Phantom Dancer is perfect for her. It gives her a little bit more attack speed which is great a bit more damage and everything but a really big shield to hide behind and you don't actually need more raw damage there are a few other builds around as well that you can run you can go blade pd for example for a more like a duelist build as well a faker was actually doing this it is a bit less damage but it is cheaper you can also go full crit if you really want to it seems the worst out of the builds that i've listed it's lacking life still early and it's almost like too much damage it's too glass cannon for her to actually survive Ezreal is still a really good AD as well with his new W, but the build hasn't really changed at all. The only thing really is the Sword Boost. Those are the new addition, like moving him into kind of a hybrid AD and AP champion with those Archangels and Gunblade together. It also swaps your scaling late game. It's really good. It's really good at burst. It makes his late game absolutely insane. I definitely recommend trying it out. Jinx is actually one of the best AD carries on this patch right now, and especially at lower ranks. She's genuinely almost kind of free low, actually. Runes, you have two choices. The first one is going to be fleet for work the one i'd actually recommend anyway but you can also run lethal tempo you can run overheal you can run bloodline it's kind of up to you the infinity edge rush and i build one makes your rockets absolutely crush so early into the game now combine that with the runins and the whole team is going to be getting hammered the build three here is the variation for crit champions and this applies to every single crit champ that is going to build infinity edge and two zeal items in their first three you go some early ad with your bf sword into a zeal and then into your infinity edge as your like first complete item i guess it's a way more even approach to a crit build but it actually doesn't win as much as rushing an infinity edge so that is what i would recommend now moving into kaiser she definitely came out worse after this patch but we do have a build that works which is really good runes i would recommend flee for work you can run press the attack but i think even going over hill is actually pretty good on her right now infinity edge first gives you a very q upgrade which means that with the crits the ad and the upgrade you seriously burst people at the very start of fights it's a very good mix of uh, q damage and also a few auto attacks if you manage to crit your attack speed is very slow though so the chance of critting is only 25% and it's not the best. You get your stealth upgrade later, which 
which also sucks. But it seems to be the build that wins the most at the moment. And I've tried this. We had a video about this yesterday and it is really strong. Going straight crit is also another decent choice. And your build two that focuses more on upfront burst damage, especially with the shiv and the rapid fire, you're going to burst harder, but your sustained damage will be a little bit lower. Now, Jin has become a lot more popular again after this. And his fourth shot with Infinity Edge, it really, really stinks. I'd kind of forgotten actually how much damage that would do. Now, the runes you go flee for like most of the time, you can run stuff like Dark Harvest if you want to though. This build is the one that almost every single pro goes right now. It's just a crit build. The interesting part though is the new Storm Razor seems absolutely disgusting on him. As we talked about, if you can get this later into the game, you get a longer range crit, more damage, more heal as well, and the slow part to it, which makes hitting all your skill shots like your W easier. So if you get to late game, it is an absolutely huge pickup. So Caitlyn being the most popular champion at the moment isn't really a surprise, but Tristana being all the way down here is a bit. She's kind of like a riskier version of Caitlyn, but she can do way more damage, especially in the lane phase. I normally run Prezi Attack on Trezana with the Bloodline, so the second page, but actually Fleet Forward seems really good at the moment and just going for a crit build. Shiva also seems amazingly better on Trisana than other AD carries for the burst and the wave clear, but it is still just a normal triple crit build. The only thing really to mention with this one is that BF Sword into a Shiv Rush looks better on her than most others at the moment and could definitely net you like some more farm and a few more kills and stuff like that, maybe even a few more towers. Sivra is definitely loving these new crit changes though and has a lot of options to mix and match her build. So room wise, we're going to go into Fleet Forward and uh, we don't normally take overheal, but you can definitely do it if you want to. These are the most common build paths though, and you can rearrange these if you want to. Infinity Edge Rush seems a very weird, actually. I'm surprised by this, but it gives you a lot of AD and it instantly makes your W bounces hurt a lot more and it is the highest win rate first item. Notice though, we go triple crit, but this time instead of other champions, we do it with an Essence Reaver third as well for more AD. That is going to mean you have bigger crits, more cooldown reduction and more mana for team fights, which I think on Sivir makes a lot of sense. You can also rush Essence Reaver if you want to, but you can can also go 100% crit in any of these builds by throwing in two zeal items, Infinity Edge and Essence Reaver. And considering how safe you are at the very back of fights, it is a pretty good build. Javen actually seems to be a little bit worse than before 9.3, but he's definitely not bad. I think it's just kind of an adjustment period. The runes haven't really changed at all, but the builds have. Rushing Bloodthirster doesn't seem to be as good now. Rushing Infinity Edge, though, is insane damage. Realistically, it's kind of up to you, and you can pick what you get first, but the RNG 25% crit can make a huge difference. The Long Range Axe crit with the Infinity Edge and the new Rapid Fire is definitely something to be afraid of, though, and since he has so much damage as well, getting the new Phantom Dancer helps to keep him alive without messing any of that up. I will say the new Storm Razor has a stupid win rate on him at the moment because of the AD on it and the synergy as well with the build. So if you pick that up as your last item, it's really good, but it means you're left with pretty much no defense there. Zaya, we kind of expected to shoot up, or at least I did, but it seems like the new Essence Reaver just isn't as good as we probably thought it was going to be. Rune-wise, you have two choices that are pretty much the same, Fleet Fork or Lethal Tempo. Obviously, one is more damage and one is a bit more safety. The one thing that is very clear at the moment with the build is 100% crit is definitely the way to do things with Zaya to give her that insane damage output with her W late game. The second build, Weirdly, is the one that wins the most at the moment, rushing your Infinity Edge, skipping Essence Reaver until a bit later into the game and rushing some good old attack speed with the buffed up crits. Twitch actually has a huge amount of builds and pages that work at the moment, and he's definitely a very good pick. Lethal Tempo or Pressy Attack, it's up to you. It's pretty good, but build one is a very similar build to what we have at the moment, except we can nab that PD for a bit more defense later. The issue is that we only have three crit items in that build. Now, last patch, that would have given you 100% crit, which is amazing, but now it's only 75%. That is where build two and three kind of come in, skipping the blade first and going into four crit items, making sure as soon as you do pop out of stealth, you have 100% crit and you'll insta-give everybody around you. It's probably one of those things that's a bit more playstyle based. If you want to play for team fights, you go for the crit build. If you want to go for roaming around, you probably want your blade first. Ash is pretty underrated at the moment for the amount of control that she definitely will bring into a game and her damage did go up this patch in 9.3, which is good. Lethal Tempo is there because you really need the damage from your keystone. And you'll notice though, there's no Essence Reaver in these builds. You can run it as your first item if you want to, but it's not as good as the other options so far. So I haven't included it. The weirdest thing for me is that Phantom Lancer has like the highest win rate out of any Z item on her. So it seems like it's almost a must buy. At some point during the game, at least you do want to pick it up. You can even get it second if you wanted to and skip the rune to go more for a single target build. Now we're kind of getting into our definite like B or C tier champions at the moment. Uh, Misfortune really got left behind after all these changes. The new crit items are better early and a Dark Harvest was nerfed a while ago. We're still going to go Dark Harvest because there isn't really another good option. And then the build is pretty much just Lethality with a little bit of crit later. Lethality was always really good bot lane because it was cheaper than a normal crit build 
build and faster damage. But crit isn't that far behind anymore, honestly, and that is the problem. The best way seems to be at option two by going crit late game to try and at least kind of keep up. And remember, our ultimate waves can crit as well, and the PD kind of makes up for the lack of mobility. Kalista also seemed to get a little bit boned after this patch because her window to bully versus crit champion is a lot shorter now. Lethal tempo or press attack are your rune choices at the moment, and you can also pick up a rage bait in this build if you really wanted to. But Bloodthirster is a really key pickup now. It has a really good win rate. It's kind of like necessary on her. So if you can get to that point in the game earlier, it is really good. Crit champions burst a little bit harder than you would do at the moment, and that is the issue. It's kind of difficult to survive long enough to stick enough Ren stacks in them to actually kill them. Varus is having a very similar issue actually at the moment. You can't keep up with the crit burst damage and also the range with rapid fire. This is the best build that I can piece together so far, but it's not got a space for Infinity Edge, which doesn't really make any sense. Unfortunately, it is all about attacking insanely fast and hoping the on-hit goes to work, which isn't really the kind of AD carry meta that we're in at the moment. Finally then, Cogmore. He's got more built-in damage than Varus or Callista, and he can actually keep up with the crit champions quite well. He might be the least popular AD, but he isn't actually the worst. Rune-wise, we're going to look at Lethal Tempo. We can actually run Press Attack, even Fleet Fork, if we really wanted to. There are a few different ways, though, that you can order the build around and move it and stuff, but basically, we're starting the game as an on-hit champion and moving into crit for later into the game, so you kind of have the best of both worlds. So there you go. Those are the best ADC builds currently on 9.3, and it should help you if you're stuck and you're not really too sure what to pick up. I'm a little bit ill right now, but hopefully I'm going to be streaming right now when the video releases. So if you enjoyed this and you're watching till the end, thank you very much, by the way. And you want to see me testing some of these, then come on over, link below. But for now, I will leave you with robots.